with Chapman MO3 here in Guitar Center at San Jose, California. And we're going to do a little bit of a comparison between what you get with the MO3 standard versus what you get with something like the Korean made professional series. Uh, starting off, same scale length. It has a bolt on neck, so 25 inch scale length, bolt on neck, recessed heel joint for easy action, um, access. The frets, however, are nickel instead of the stainless steel that you get on the professional series. Uh, satin finish on both of these guitars, uh, except on the body. This is a mahogany body with a flame maple, maple veneer, uh, but it plays fantastic. So we're going to talk about the value you get for paying half the price versus a full price Korean made Chapman guitar. So this is the Chapman Guitar Standard ML3 Modern V2, and I'm plugged into a Blackstar HT20 on the overdrive setting. This guitar has Chapman tuners, an ebony fretboard, nickel frets, a satin finish maple bolt-on neck, and a mahogany body with a flame maple veneer. In comparison, the Chapman Guitar's ML1 Modern has locking hip shot open gear tuners, an ebony fretboard, a satin finish maple through neck design, and a swamp ash body with a flame maple carved top. The pickups on the standard series are newly redesigned and I think they sound immense and very similar to the Chapman humbuckers in the professional series. Unlike the professional series, the standard does have dot inlays and the neck on the standard is also very comfortable and surprisingly similar to the professional, maybe just a hair different in terms of the rolling on the fret edges and the fretboard. The frets won't last as long as the stainless ones in the professional series, but in terms of playability, you are getting I would say 70% of the guitar for 50% percent of the price, which makes the standard series a very great value even with the increased cost over the original version 1 standard series. Mm -hmm. 